Hi there friends 601 on this Wednesday morning time to rise and shine. Thanks so much for joining us here on up with Krim. I'm Channing Curtis. Let's get over to the forecast with meteorologist Thomas Patrick because Thomas, I don't know about you, but I love the fall like weather. So I'm kind of excited about your forecast. <laughs> yeah, a <laughs> little bit of fall rain today, but the fall temperature is definitely here to stay. It looks like this is going to be a pretty pleasant fall forecast and we can always use a little bit of rainfall. Live pictures over Coeur d'Alene right now are showing at least a little bit of some clear skies. However, I think the clouds are starting to just push in. We had quite a bit of clearing over Spokane and Coeur d'Alene. That does not appear to be uh, the case all day long today. There's actually quite a lot of rainfall over northern Washington from Omac, Republic, Colville, all the way to Medellin Falls getting a decent amount of rain. But look what's happening over Kootenai County. You can see some development of showers just a little at first in a few spots, but that's the kind of development we'll watch all day long today morning, midday, afternoon, evening hours. Showers are possible. It won't be all day long, but it will be on and off rainfall for this Wednesday. Well, yesterday, troopers had to close I-90 near Ridsville after a stolen washed out truck caught on fire on the freeway. Crim 2's Nicole Hernandez has been following this story for us from the very beginning and joins us now with the latest. So Channing, troopers arrested Lance Rogers and booked him into jail on 12 different counts. A few assault charges, theft, attempted theft, discharging a firearm, and robbery. Take a look at this video from yesterday morning. This is part of the police chase there. The burned washdot truck troopers say Rogers stole here will come up in just a second. This whole situation started in Yakima when Rogers allegedly started shooting out of his car at other drivers. He then drove to Washtucna. He went to the Washington State Department of Transportation building, showed his gun and stole an asphalt truck from the lot. Washington State Patrol troopers caught him in that stolen truck near Ritzville on I-90. They used spike strips to stop the truck, but those spike strips caused some sparking and the truck actually caught fire while it was stopping. And we talked to one man who saw the whole thing happen. Traffic completely stopped. I saw smoke for a brief second and then flames shoot up into the air. So once the truck stopped, troopers were able to get Rogers out and arrest him. They say he was not hurt from the car chase or the fire. Troopers had to shut down eastbound I-90 while crews put the fire out. Then they were able to open just one lane. Troopers kept that lane closed for a few hours while they investigated, and they say they found a gun in the asphalt truck. In the newsroom, Nicole Hernandez, Crime 2 News. Well, this morning we are learning more about a Spokane police officer who shot a dog that bit him. According to SPD, a man with an active warrant was walking a dog when an officer tried to arrest him. When the officer approached, the dog allegedly bit the officer. The officer then shot the dog. Now, right now we don't know how the dog is doing, but we do know that the officer is expected to be okay. The man in question was arrested, but at this time, police are not saying what he was arrested for. A former Lake City High School teacher has been sentenced for having a sexual relationship with an underage student. According to our news partners at the Coeur d'Alene Press, 49-year-old William Keelan began a multi-year relationship with a 15-year-old back in 2012. Police say multiple students knew about what was going on but were afraid to report it. Keelan will now spend 120 days in jail and will be placed on supervised probation for four years. Now, yesterday on Up With Crime, you might remember we told you that Hayden Lake's police chief and sole police officer has been placed on leave after just two months on the job. Well, Crim 2's Kyle Simchuk went to Hayden Lake and learned the chief was placed on leave just days after he raised ethical concerns over an order from the mayor. Hayden Lake's mayor and city council members would not tell us why the chief was placed on administrative leave. However, we do know the chief recently pushed back against the mayor's order to crack down on speeders and minimize the amount of warnings he's allowed to give out. Chief Ron Pumphrey is Hayden Lake's only law enforcement officer, and he's been on the job for less than three months. Now he's been placed on leave. According to our news partners at the Coeur d'Alene Press, Chief Pumphrey announced last Friday he was placed on leave August 27th, days after questioning an order from Hayden Lake Mayor Jim Ackerman. According to the press, the mayor asked the chief to implement a zero tolerance policy for drivers caught going seven over the speed limit, an automatic ticket for someone driving 32 in a 25 mile per hour zone. Pumphrey said he has ethical objections to the order, which he thinks is motivated by revenue. Pumphrey told the Coeur d'Alene Press the mayor's order is under legal review and that he's not discussing the details of his leave status based on his contract and advice from his attorney. 
According to his contract, Pumphrey can be fired for disqualifying misconduct with a four-month severance package worth about $35,000. Cooney County deputies will handle active emergencies in Hayden Lake, which they already do when the chief is off duty. And the chief did not attend tonight's council meeting where city leaders delayed a decision to purchase a body worn camera for their police department of one. Reporting in Hayden Lake tonight, Kyle Simchuk, Krem 2 News. It is 6.06 .06 right now. Let's take a look at your morning rush. More news in less time. Washington Governor Jay Inslee is in New York for Climate Week, NYC. He was the keynote speaker at the UN General Assembly's Climate Science Summit yesterday, where he touted Washington State's climate leadership. Over the next week, he'll be attending several other events as well. This weekend will be the very first flight of Alaska Airlines' Go Cougs airplane. The tail art will debut ahead of WSU's football game against the Oregon State Beavers on Saturday. The Go Cougs flight will take off from Seattle and will land in Pullman around 12.30 p.m. The game actually kicks off at 4 p.m. Well, Idaho's Trailing of the Sheep Festival has been chosen by USA Today as one of the top 10 best fall festivals. The event began in 1997 and celebrates the history and culture of sheep herding. While the sheep do take the main stage, though, there's also a parade, sheepdog trials, farm-to-table dinners, and cooking classes for everyone to check out. This year's festival starts October 1st, 4th, rather, and ends the 8th. And that's a look at your morning rush. Weather-wise today, we'll be tracking lots of scattered showers, but the cloud cover this morning is keeping some of our temperatures a little bit warmer compared to yesterday, that's for sure. Looks like the one exception is out of Deer Park with a current temperature of 35 degrees. Perhaps a bit of an anomaly there, but that is certainly still the season to see some 30s over northeastern Washington. But our rain chances quite high for today, at least a little bit of rainfall, more likely during the morning and midday hours than say the afternoon. But that rainfall should keep things cool all day long as we'll see the kids head to school with temps in the 40s. And they'll come home in the 50s, maybe 60s at best, but probably just in the 50s while it is raining. And our scattered showers are really starting to develop latest activity popping up over the Palouse and Whitman County. We'll have a deeper dive in our Doppler radar in my full forecast in less than 10 minutes. Now listen, we know it is still summer, but there are actually some people who are already looking forward to the holiday season, and I'm not just talking about me this time. A survey from Bankrate finds that 12% of Americans are buying gifts this month. And get this, another 12% actually already started their holiday shopping in August. The survey did find that some Americans are waiting until at least October, though, to start. And while about one in four people plan to do most of their shopping in stores, a majority of people are doing the bulk of their buying online and will be searching for deals. In recent years, major retailers like Amazon and Target and Walmart, they often roll out Black Friday type pricing in early October. Now, holiday shopping can be stressful for a lot of people. 33% of people expect inflation to influence their shopping habits. 23% anticipate a strain on their budget. And 13% say they feel pressure to spend more than they're comfortable with. Experts say that if you can, avoid carrying a balance on your credit cards right now because interest rates at this time are over 20%. So speaking of holiday shopping, that actually brings us to our wake up call this morning. We are asking you, when do you start your holiday shopping? Not your decorating, not even any other type of planning, but your actual holiday shopping. Text us what you do to 509-448-2000 or post to social media and use the hashtag up with Krim. A lot of people saying that they start their shopping early and some one of our viewers actually saying that they try to get gifts throughout the year as they see them, but they're a bit of a procrastinator, which I understand too. I'm still a last minute shopper for some of those like key gifts. Sometimes I'm last minute, but for the big ones, I try and plan early. What about you, Thomas? Yeah, you always look for deals on those deal days, you know, yeah. like like the, what is it called, Prime Day yeah. for Amazon. You could just Christmas shop on that. It doesn't mm -hmm. really matter what time of year it is. For sure. Yeah. My mom used to always cheat in, and she would do back-to-school shopping dash Christmas shopping at the same time. <laughs> Love so it. she could get the good sales. <laughs> so Texas, what you do for your holiday shopping, 509-448-2000.